there are pretty much no decent videos that I could find on YouTube explaining how these caster camber bolts or caster camber bushings work. And this is in a 2003 Ford E150 van. And you can see I have this bushing in place uh, in the um, steering knuckle. And you can see this is a 4x2 vehicle and it has etched on here, 4x2. This is maximum three and a quarter degrees of movement uh, for caster uh, or camber. And so right now, I wanted to increase caster because these vehicles wander all over on the highway. This is the same bushing for the other side. I'm gonna show you how it's oriented now. So what we have here is the front part of this bushing then, set that there. You can see when it's turned over like it is here, the front part of the bushing is very large and it's gonna be pushing that ball joint back. And so you can see on the front side here, you don't see the ball joint. On the back side, you can see the ball joint bulging out there. It's pushed back to increase the caster. So we don't see it at all here. And here we can see the ball joint edge uh, because the whole thing is canted backwards like a bicycle fork. And that's what we want to get good tracking. Now, how this is gonna work out as far as camber goes and so forth, I don't know, but uh, I'm going to take it to an alignment shop. But they charge a fortune just to put these things in and it's a pretty simple process to take the old ones out. You take out one bolt, which is a pinch bolt that goes right in here. And then you wiggle around the knuckle and get this to go down in there with a, with a hammer a little persuasion from a hammer. I also took off the um, uh, tie rod and the sway bar, uh, so I would just have maximum uh, ability to move this around to get that in there, and I wasn't gonna be forcing it in too much and potentially damaging the ball joint. I hope that helps. What's also uh, interesting about this is I had taken it to NTV for an alignment last week, and they had oriented uh, the caster camper bushing which i had uh, i had one in there already that um, adjusts to two degrees or i think here you can see it maybe two and a half degrees i think it is for a four by two vehicle but you can see it pretty clearly that it's for a four by four it's two degrees maximum oh there it is just barely see it but anyway you could get two and a half degrees maximum out of that which would have been okay but the guy had it adjusted in completely the opposite direction for the absolute minimum caster and telling me I can't adjust it because if I adjust it, it'll ruin the camber. Well, there's a, a many 360 degrees of settings here that you can adjust and not affect, you can partial portions of it, you can not affect the camber at all. Like this one here on the uh, instructions, it said this only affects caster, not camber when it's in this position. So these alignment chains or these shops that are chains, I don't think they know too much about what they're doing. I'm going to take it to a four by four shop and have them fine tune this alignment. Okay, <clears throat> here are things from a different angle. So this is the upper ball joint here and this is the lower ball joint down here. So the upper ball joint, when it has positive caster, is further back and the lower ball joint is further forward. So the, up, the, the fork is tilted backwards towards the back of the van. So I'm looking down here at the upper ball joint and you can't see the lower ball joint until I come down around here. And now you can see it because it's out in front towards the front of the vehicle in relation to the upper ball joint. And that's what gives you positive caster.